Kavita and I make book related videos on this channel. So if you guys like book, if you love reading, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos, turn that notification on and guys please do comment because you know it that I love it when you comment. So guys, I know it's June already but I'm going to talk to you about something which happened 6 months back. So guys, you know if you have been following me since that long that this new year I celebrated in Hyderabad. So I was there with my family and friends and it was an awesome experience. I love the city and its history and definitely it's old world charm. So I got a lot of books from Hyderabad. I have already shown you a couple of books in my Hyderabad book haul part 1. But that was not it. I actually promised you guys that there are a couple of more books which I want to show you. So the Hyderabad book haul should have been part 1, part 2 and part 3. But I just made part 1 and God knows why I just completely forgot making the part 2 and part 3. I know I'm really late. It's almost 6 months since I went there. But I think you guys can forgive me, right? So guys, the books that I'm going to show you today are all from a place called MR Book Center. And this is a really nice place. Let me show it to you. So from the MR Book Center, I got books in two categories. So one was at discounted rates and the other category was at the rate of Rs 130 per kg. So that video will come up later. Today, this video is going to be about the books which I got at discounted rates from MR Book Center. The first book which I got is this one, The Compact Timeline History of the World by Roshan Dalal. The book travels to the history of the entire world from the emergence of hominids millions of years ago to the present day and it has a huge compilation of facts, figures and images to support the reader in the reading experience. So I don't know when I will get to read it but I will surely let you know. The next book which I got is this one, Outlaw, India's Bandit Queen and Me by Roy Moksam. And this felt like an interesting book and hence I got it. This book is written by an author who later in Fulan Devi's life becomes a close friend and, and travels with her for years before she was finally gunned down in 2001. The author offers a remarkable portrait of Fulan Devi known and documented through their unique friendship. And again if you ask me, I don't know when I will get to read this one but I will surely let you know when I do that. The next book which I got is Calcutta, Two Years in the City by Amit Chaudhary. In this book, the famous author Amit Chaudhary goes back to Calcutta and realizes that his city of birth has changed completely. And this is about the two years which he had spent in the city in which he, you know, goes on discovering about its people, its culture, its traditions and its unique charm and vibe. Sounds like an interesting read, right? The next three books which I got are all Sophie Kinsella's. I've not even uncovered this one, you can see. So this is Remember Me. And this book is a story of a girl called Lexi who wakes up after a car accident in a hospital room thinking that it is 2004 and she is still 25 years old with bad teeth and with a horrible love life. But that is so not the case because it is actually 2007. She is 28 years old now. She is the boss of her own department and married to a millionaire. So how does that happen and how will she cope with it? It is only for me to know when I read this book so let me figure that out. The next one is this one, Chocoholic and Baby by Sophie Kinsella again. In this book, Rebecca is happily married to Luke and is pregnant. But to her horror, one day she realizes that her celebrity obstetrician is actually Luke Grahams, her husband's ex-girlfriend. So what fun things happen next is only for you to know. I have already read this book and I have reviewed it also. But I have not posted the review yet. But I'm planning to do that pretty soon. The next book which I got is this one, The Undomestic Goddess. And this is again by Sophie Kinsella. And in this book, she tells us the story of Samantha, who is a power-hungry, London-based, very successful lawyer, but who finds herself in a very precarious situation. She somehow becomes the housekeeper of a big, beautiful house, but has absolutely no idea how to run it. So she fumbles with washing machines. She does not know how to work on the oven and she has absolutely no idea of how to run the house. So what chaos happens and what fun entails? That is only for you and me to know when we read this book. So I am really looking forward to this one because it sounds awesome. So guys, those are all the books that I got from the MR Book Center and which comprise of my Hyderabad Book Hall Part 2. And I have many more books which will come in the Hyderabad Book Hall Part 3. And guys, before you go, I just have a small announcement to make. Guys, I hope some of you know that I have a channel called Crafts Castle, which I run with my brother and mom. And last week, we made some DIYs on Game of Thrones. So if you're a Game of Thrones fan, please make sure to check out this video. The link will be up here. I hope you will enjoy it. And if you do, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It will help us a lot, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. And until the next video, bye.